I, I get it. Well, we just got the package and the response from the guy, and we'll give it to yeah, so our environmentalists. And okay, yeah. you guys figure out that's what you get paid for. <laughs> we just want to make sure we don't take the water out. No, we're using it to process. Correct. So we're not drawing water down. We're working in a 20-foot deep lake that we're creating. Your water draw is it Mike? Yep. Is at 160 feet or? or about 160 to 200, yeah. So you're down, you're drawing from the aquifer that's being referred to in this report, but I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. And we're not taking what we don't take water no, out. I, no, I understand that, but your the mining facility, the way the ground is mined and removed, it interferes with the water table down low. And by my reading and my recollection, according to the, the study I read, it said that the, it will come back up, but it takes over the winter for that water that would have normally been going down because you're disturbing a big area, 26 acres, over the winter, majority of that water will seep itself and work itself back down into the aqueduct. It was, it was, it's in here. Past your graphs or somewhere we read that. But. Andy, did you have our hydrogeologist? Yes. Yep. So, uh, Marty, uh, as a senior member of the firm, I can tell you that we have one of the most renowned hydrogeologists in the state working for us. And if, his, if he's got his eyes on this, I can give you all the confidence that your concerns are being. Oh, I, I fully agree with you yeah. on that statement. I'm not, I'm not questioning that at all. It's my, my other observation, I don't Dan Whalen, who I'm referring to, talk about it, is uh, uh, operations within our wellhead protection area, which is independent of, of the gravel and the gravel pit and the lake, but just any industrial operations within our wellhead protection. We have wellhead protection you know, requirements, which I'm sure these folks are well aware of in all of the pits that they have. So. Yeah, and, and, and Dan is certainly very sensitive to making sure that you know, spills are contained, you know, things like that, so there's not any risk of, you know, major pollution events that would be you know, that close to a public water compiled of the very seriously, so you know, um, and so again, this, uh, a lot of this stuff is out of my expertise as a, as a, as a planner, but he's been looking at the at, at the uh, Lakeshore report. He'll continue to do so, and you know, you know, probably get them in touch and have them kind of talk and get the details. Let's let's uh, let the water sell the board of Maine and let the let the experts uh, <laughs> no let the experts work on it uh, until the next meeting. That seems to me to make the uh, most sense. Yep. Um, and with that, we have uh, E and F. We'll go through those and then we'll yep. stop at that point. So E is that the proposed special land use should not involve uses, activities, processes, materials, and equipment or conditions of operation that will be detrimental to any person's property or general world welfare by reason of excessive production of traffic, noise, smoke, fumes, glare, or odors. So we right here, and I, I feel like I'm being kind of repetitive, but a variety of potential uses can result from mining operations, so it's important to consider mitigations of these instances to ensure the operation will not be de detrimental to the existing or committed uses of the area. I'm going to comply with standards of the ordinance and conditions and approve would be important in, in mitigating many of these impacts. Um, there's no chemicals proposed on site. Uh, the the Lakeshore report states that daily inspection will be conducted to prevent fuels and lubricants from contaminating the lake. Um, and so again, these are things that, that, that you can ask for more detail on, on, on safety and spill prevention types of things. And, um, that you can turn off that. And then uh, other measures to mitigate potential impact are addressed in the, the specific special energy standards. So when we get to the next section, next month, presumably, there's some stuff in the next section that also talks about those items. And then uh, this discussion, I have a, a discussion of very serious consequences. That is a section of this of the zoning enabling act that was amended a few years ago, uh, where it basically says that the 
we did have to demonstrate to uh, the planning commission that no very serious consequences would result from the activity and it kind of goes into the description of what, what those consequences would be and what kind of factors you would consider when you're making that determination. So we will, uh, we will comb through that at the next meeting. Um, hopefully we will have an updated site plan from the applicant that addresses some of the things we talked about tonight. And then we will have uh, hopefully some further findings on the Ontario geological and the things and hopefully have some clarity as far as what that would have. Commissioners, any questions at all? Applicants, any questions at all? Do you guys have planning commission meetings yeah, in December right. or January? You take Christmas off and you, some will miss a month or something? We try to take the first six months off, but it never works out. <laughs> you know, virus, that we, we do have it scheduled for uh, December, and quite typically we have either worked it or had a half session possibly uh, in January. We uh, take care of administrative stuff and have a full meeting in January. So December is kind I of I can just see us being in, we'll be on the November meeting. And yes. it will be on the December meeting. We just don't want to have right. a three month. No, at some, at some point, too, we would have to have a public hearing, right? Uh, I think this was notice for a public hearing tonight. Oh, okay. So I will, I, I, I will, I will verify that that happened, but it should have. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they did. Okay. I got a notice. You got a notice. I got a notice. All right. Excellent. Okay. Good. Okay. Then, uh, staff, any other questions? Amy, any other questions? Michael? Mike, anything? Dave? Oh, good. Are you? No, Amanda? Well. Yep. Happy Halloween, all. We'll see you at turkey time. Move to a different you kind of want, as long as we're taking this, can you open the public hearing and close the public hearing? I will so do we so. had it? Yeah, I will do so. All I right. will open the public hearing and I have to close it. Good point. Thank you. Thank you. Dave? Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, you want to? Oh, a second. Are we adjourned? All in favor of adjourning, say aye. We stand adjourned. Aye.